Yeah. Is high school um, yeah, engineering teacher a, uh, a curriculum at any engineering school at this one or any other ones? Uh, let me answer that with a, a statement that you won't like. It depends. Uh, what state you're in has regulations about how secondary educators are trained. Mm -hmm. Some states require that if you're going to teach a subject, you have to have a bachelor's degree in that subject and that you gain your yeah. secondary education teaching credentials in graduate school. So for example, if you're going to teach math, you have to have a BS in math, and then you get your credentials to teach it yeah. in graduate school. Some states say that you have to have a lot of classes in that area, but you can get your teaching credentials with your BS degree, and then you get a BS in education with a focus on the subject. Yeah. As I understand, uh, for those schools or for those states rather that require an undergraduate degree in the area that you teach, we're hoping that our degree program, that's an engineering fundamentals, a generic engineering degree, would be a good pipeline for educators who wish to teach engineering in high school. You know, that way they wouldn't be focusing on one type of engineering, but have a general knowledge that could give students information and encouragement in all engineering fields. Yeah. So that, that would be my hope for that degree. I've did got I a, answer your question? Yeah, please? yeah, you did. I mean, it seems like it's a, there's an opportunity there to develop high school teachers and curriculums. I've got people approach me with master's degrees in engineering, brilliant, hands-on people, and trying to find out a way they just, you know, Boy Scout leader, and I'm going, God, and he wants to teach in high school, but when he goes through the front door to apply to teach at high school, it's, he's going to, you know, and, and he's my age, I think he's like 57, he won't be able to get teaching credentials for three years in the state of Georgia, but yet I know this guy can totally teach engineering, he's just excited about kids, Boy Scout and engineering, but, uh, and then also at the college level, the college students, you know, oh, I want to teach high school. You know, I'd, I'd love to come over to Tech High, and it's just, uh, it's real. You know, we, we've had a, we've had one program where they can assist and they get paid a little bit, but we don't really have a track. And and a lot of them really start out in the three and a half years I've been doing this. A lot of them really start out with a dream of maybe doing what Alan Gravitt does, which is very cool, very very fun, working with kids, teaching engineering, and making a difference in their lives. But it's uh, it's just been. And maybe these are the kids, some of them are, maybe they're the kids that would start out as freshmen in engineering schools, and this would be something where they could, um, you know, I mean, it just seems like there's an opportunity there. And I think that's some of the uh, reasoning behind developing engineering education departments within colleges of engineering. It's a way to bring engineering into an education type degree so that we can educate people who will be teaching how to teach and what the pedagogy is, the best, you know, best practices, that type of thing. And some of those graduates are expected to go into the secondary system and also to community colleges, which I think is a very, very good place for them to go. Uh, I know transfer students here, we probably get 100 a year in the College of Engineering. Uh, as the costs for tuition for mainstream universities skyrockets and financial aid is not keeping up with it. A lot of students are going to start their education in a community college, their higher ed in a community college, so we have to think about those educators as well. Uh, in reference to getting credentials to teach, having a requirement for a BS in that degree, I think more states are going in that direction. That's a newer requirement. Within education circles at higher ed, and, and it's, education shows that when students can't reconcile new concepts with their prior knowledge, they run into roadblocks, right? So it's been my experience time and again where students will come up and they'll tell me, well, you know, I always learned this rule, you know, like for significant figures, use three hours. You know, that's just a, 
rule that some people teach students because they don't want to go through the trouble of explaining how to trace significant figures, right? It's not always true. There, you know, there's a way to figure out how many significant figures you have, what your precision in your number is, and to teach them just always use three, you know, doesn't let them reconcile later when they learn what significant figures are and how to do, trace them. It doesn't let them reconcile. I had a student who told me he couldn't understand the law of signs that had just presented the law of signs we needed for a homework problem. He said it doesn't work. And I said, why? He said, because the sign of an angle in a triangle is the shortest side over the longest side. No. <laughs> and I said, what? He said, when you have a triangle, the sign of the angles is the shortest side over the longest side. I said, well, doesn't that mean all the three angles would have the same sign? He said, well, yeah, they're all in the same triangle. Uh, I said, whoa. So I went back and showed him, you know, right triangles. Somewhere he missed. I know there is no math teacher on earth who would tell a person that. But he got that as the general rule. Probably just because they were always dealing with right triangles, they were always dealing with the sign of the smallest angles, so on. But that prior knowledge of his would not let him reconcile the law of signs. And so he assumed, of course, that the law of signs was the problem because his prior knowledge had been working all through high school. Mm -hmm. so, so a caveat, if you're going to teach them a shortcut or introduce a shortcut to make it work just for your class because it's easier and you don't have the time to teach them the whys, make sure they understand that this is just a shortcut or not a rule in general, but just for that class. So thank you. No, no. I Celeste pointed out that um, in the beginning of your binder, there's a sheet with everybody's names and email and everybody except genes. And probably some other people as we go. But if you, for now, if your email address, if you could just. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my first name, Jean. So it's yeah.